Hello Heather, thank you again for what you're doing for us. It's uh, Friday afternoon, done what I can. Now I gotta start work, so I'll kind of give you an idea where we sit. I uh, just want to keep you in mind the right hand gate. We still got these loose boards. No doubt gonna get knocked over by the wind. So we can just keep these propped up so the house passes the 100 foot test. Meaning when people drive by and uh, you know the gate doesn't look quite so much disrepair till we can get her all fixed properly. Uh, next is the Mustang 2. Uh, got to put an out of order sign on it. We've got a oil leak down here which isn't too bad but you want to be mindful of it. It's going to fill up this doggy dish. The oil is actually coming from the drain plug. No matter what I've done, gaskets, new plug, it still drips. So every week or so you want to check that um, doggy dish. Now what I've been doing Probably won't fill up during the entire month we're gone, but if it does, you can go ahead, put a piece of uh, paper towel in the funnel here, and we'll just put it in the Thunderbird. Thunderbird has room for about a quart right now, and uh, it blows through so much oil anyway that that oil will be good enough for the Thunderbird. It's not picky. Uh, the engine is loose enough, the tolerances are loose enough, it is that big of a deal. So, uh, Thunderbird runs, has the classic car insurance, drive it at last resort. Although, feel free to take it around the block a couple of times uh, while we're gone. Keep everything up, get the feel of some history. If you are stuck, you have an emergency, car's down, uh, we've got the minivan. And we've also got the green Mustang convertible. Both have daily driver insurance on it. Uh, if you do take them, uh, just please park them in the South 40 where there's no cars next to them. Uh, we have our reasoning for asking that this be done. Uh, especially on the 93 Mustang, it's in near pristine showroom condition and uh, we've been keeping it that way by parking it out in the South 40. Um, as you can see, it's kind of tight getting them out. So you want to come straight out, either with the Cougar or the Mustang. Uh, we park these here because the uh, convertibles can't defend themselves against the elements as well as the other cars. And the Cougar has a problem with the rear window. We need to re rework the electrical. Almost forgot about the Mustang too. We talked about the oil. Uh, we're also putting an out of order sign on it because I started work on this ignition module. Uh, got a new one. I'll show you where that is. Not that you're going to put it in. But just so you know what's going on. I've never come across these connectors. It's not obvious to me how these come apart. Should you have a visitor who knows, then we have the new ignition module here on the radial arm saw and inside are the three uh, screws that mount it to the firewall. Uh, as we go on inside, uh, things, it's kind of hard to tell from the video, but things are better. The stack of empty boxes is my second stack of roughly this size. We've already taken a big load down to the Goodwill. Um, these are boxes that used to be in this area. Still in quite a bit of disarray, but if you remember what it was like before, you couldn't readily walk through here the way I'm doing now. So a lot of stuff is gone. And uh, as promised in my campaign promise, that was all held up due to video deadlines and getting the room all wired back up. Well, it's all wired back up. But now some of those boxes that were out there are in here, trying to get reabsorbed back into their shelves. So we got a way to go, just ran out of time on it. Um, let's see, to the bathroom. Uh, again, a lot of running out of time. We've been working on and off with this toilet. 
Uh, it may be off with a with a out of order sign on it simply because it's been leaking. I've tried the different seals that they recommend trying. Um, should you need to reactivate it or dis deactivate it, there's the shutoff counterclockwise to get the water flowing clockwise to shut it off. As of Friday afternoon, right now it's running. Just wanted you to be aware of that. This will be the shower you'll use. Um, we're still kind of out of order in here because we have not been able to get caulked. We need to do the caulking on this, so there'll probably be an out of order sign on this. Otherwise, tub and uh, sink and, and uh, toilet work just fine. Uh, we got the dust mop here. Just to keep keep on top of the, you can see the cat gravel down here. You just want to keep on top of that, so we're not grinding it in the floor. Of course, by the time, you're, I think it's going to be back in Deb's room. The cat box will probably be back in Deb's room. The other thing, especially with the winds, uh, you want to like uncover the cars, and also be mindful of these storage sheds outside. They're closed now, but the wind will blow them open. And so uh, just be aware of that. If you get wind or rain, we want to keep those closed as much as possible. Um, that pretty much sums it up. Can't thank you enough, and uh, we'll be in touch. Take care.